This was kind of the extent of what Marcus needed to see from the ECB, the potential for more QE. That's right, and that was one of the key things that just came out of the statement now that we're seeing from the ECB. But they're also launching this temporary asset purchase program. It's a mixture of private and public sector securities that will run through to the end of this year, known as the Pandemic Emergency Purchase Program. Um, the interesting thing in all of that is that it's going to be in a mix of public and private, and it's going to be flexible, which allows them to adjust the asset mix over time. So, for example, there'll be a waiver as part of this that allows them to buy securities issued by the Greek government. Um, it will also mean that they can buy uh, commercial paper from the non-financial sector. And that's a real effort to show that they're trying to support the private sector in all of this and companies and, and, and allow them to be tided over uh, through the months ahead when perhaps their businesses are closed, when they don't have any customers, um, when they're trying to still keep their staff on um, and pay them but without any money coming in. And that's a real signal from the ECB that we're seeing now because that's a real concern that even if you promise lots of money into an economy, if people aren't spending or aren't able to go out and spend, then it doesn't really matter in terms of the benefit to the broader economy. And that's a strong signal that we're seeing now from the ECB. Yeah, we are seeing now the markets reacting with the euro and the British pound also jumping. Uh, how much will this uh, latest action from the ECB satisfy the markets? And also how much will it do to the economy? Because as you said, this really depends on whether a demand can be spurred as we're heading towards the first recession since 2013. Well, that's right. So you are seeing a slight bump in some of the markets, including stock futures, on the back of this. It does add to the body of, of effort that we're seeing all around the world, uh, fiscal packages from governments, uh, big actions by central banks around the world uh, to cut interest rates even further, to flood the market with liquidity. But as you say, the key point again is that you, there can be all the liquidity in the world, in the markets, but unless people are actually out spending and businesses are having money come in the door, uh, then in the long run, the economic hit is going to remain. This is simply an action to allow businesses to stay in operation, perhaps, for some months until uh, that demand comes back in um, from the public sector. But that's really why you're seeing uh, only a fairly small reaction in the market, because even though it's designed to support the public sector, there's that real question mark over demand when you see countries in full lockdown. Uh, talk, for example, here in the UK that London, one of the greatest financial capitals in the world, could go into a full lockdown as soon as this weekend for an extended period.